morning campers today it's very exciting for me it is my first solo wild camp in the uk in fact my first solo wild camp ever um, oh there goes camera take two start it again <laughs> i must be mad because it's my first time ever and it's going to be windy and raining and horrible tonight but hey let's jump in at the deep end and have some fun shall we um, I'm also going to try out my new hammock, I've never hammock camped before so it should be an experience. Uh, if I do it right hopefully I'll stay nice warm and dry tonight, if not then I'm sure you'll hear me moan about it in the morning. Um, I'm on my way to go outdoors just to pick up a few more bits that I've forgotten to get. Uh, I'm going to pack my bag, get changed and head on out. Um, I am um, going to be camping tonight in some woodlands that a friend of mine um, knows of he, uh, he runs a local pub to where I am and there's big 18 acre land at the back which I don't think anyone has actually been in for a number of years so there could be anything in there uh, there may well even be haunted as I live very close to Biggin Hill Airport uh, which is the old RAF airport uh, with loads of pilots and stuff Winston Churchill live not far from here so who knows, I might get some close encounters with the paranormal. <laughs> Let's hope not, but oh well, it makes a good video I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> so I will catch up with you in a bit when, I've, uh, when I'm on my way out. So see you later. Gotta make it happen, shall we? Apparently there's a little gap in the fence that I need to sneak through and that'll give me my access to the woods, which I think there it is. Gnarly in here. Apparently, it won't keep to the right hand side of the woods because the left side gets flooded. So, if it does rain, it ain't good news. Pretty excited for this. I'm gonna set up right here, I reckon. Nice little secluded bit of woods, and I've never hammock camped before, so I'm gonna try and set the hammock up first, give that a go, and then put a tarp over the top. Um, what's the time? It's about half four, so I reckon I've got about an hour left of daylight, so I'll get that set up ready to go. Uh, there's lots of dead wood in there, um, so get some wood, try and make a fire. If that fails, I've got my camping stove with me. Uh, so, I ain't gonna go without dinner tonight, which is a good thing. So, uh, 
Let's crack on and get it done, shall we? Sweet. Right, let's give it a test run. It's a bit low, isn't it? Might have to make it a bit higher. Hey! Yeah, this is me. Sweet. Sweet. <coughs> right. So that's set up. Well, I think it's set up, but it seemed to hold my weight, so that's all good. <coughs> Got the bug net on top which I probably won't need but there we go first time doing it you gotta give it a go ain't ya um right I suppose I'll try and set up the tarp up now shall I let's give it a go Right, I think I've got the top one on, top rope on, but I don't know how strong it'll be, we'll have to see, but I'm going to have a little uh, brew dog punk IPA while I'm doing it, because hey, I've got to celebrate and I, and I have a good celebration coming up very soon, uh, something I've won, so keep tuned and you'll see what I've won, which I'm really excited about, uh, and hopefully when I go to what I'm doing, I should be able to learn a little bit more and maybe set this up a little bit better next time but here we go uh right bottoms up guys thanks for watching so far and uh we'll try and set the rest of it up I kind of messed up because I, I thought I could use this tree but now my tarp won't obviously go around the rope that's holding the fly net up so I think what I'm going to do is remove the netting and tie it off somewhere else and then see if I can get around it that way but hey this is what learning is all about right let's see what happens Right, I'm going to go off and try and find some wood. The floor is actually quite damp, so I need to find some wood that is off the ground. <clears throat> um, there's no silver birch in here at all. I didn't bring any with me, so I can't start a fire that way. I'm going to might just have to go with a trusty old lighter and a bit of cardboard from the beer box. Um, but I'm going to have to collect as much as I can and then see how it goes. So, I'm going to have to if I want to eat. 
So uh, I'm gonna crack on and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. Right, <clears throat> this all seems dead and off the ground, so I might have a bit of this. There's actually quite a lot around here, so I'm gonna put you guys down, go get some wood, go build a fire, have some food. Sweet as. Tell you what, <clears throat> this is living. Screw all the uh, going up to London and nice hotels and stuff. Earth gives you the best hotels. Look at this. This is awesome. All on my own. I can sit, I can relax, have a fire, have some food, have a beer. No one here to bother me. All the birds are chirping. Oh, I'll tell you what, best decision I made this weekend. amazing and just to think it's only around the corner from where I live so uh, anyway I better crack on and get some more firewood it's gonna go dark soon so I don't even know if you can see me <laughs> so uh, I'll check back in once the fire started how about that Well, looks like I can't make a fire. Everything's too wet. So we're gonna have to go to the old fashioned way. Oh, hang on, is it going? Get some wood on that. Oh, we might have done it. We have fire. Right, managed to get the fire going. It has gone dark very, very quickly. Um, I'm gonna wait for that to die down and then I might try and cook my burger over the coals. Might as well get involved and have a go. But while I'm here and having a beer, I need to do a little thank you and a shout out. Uh, oh, it's pretty bright, isn't it? I can't see you, but I'm pretty sure you can see me. Um, First of all, I just want to say a massive thank you to the Facebook page that I'm part of, Great, Outdoor, Great Outdoors TV. I've asked lots of questions uh, recently on what to do and how to wild camp, and you've all been really, really good and answered all my questions, which I'm eternally thank you for, grateful for even. Um, and the second thing I want to say thank you to is, well, especially to someone, is JJ uh, from North Hertz Butchcraft. Um, he recently did a competition to win a ticket to the Bushcraft show um, just the other side of Birmingham I think it is and uh, I wrote a comment on there and JJ saw it and he let me have one of the tickets which is amazing I'm so looking forward to it meeting uh, people the, the main man that springs to mind is Ray Mears uh, it'll be really interesting to go and watch him speak to him hopefully uh, meet up with JJ and the other winners as well. I must also say that JJ bought a ticket out of his own money as part of the competition prize. So, mate, thank you so much. Um, I said to you I was going to come do my first wild camp, and this is it. And so far, it's going really well. I haven't been eaten alive or anything yet, so so far it's going well. Um, really, really enjoying it. Um, thank you for 
uh, commenting on my comments as well. Um, if you guys haven't got JJ on uh, YouTube yet or subscribe to him, please do. It's an amazing channel. Um, lots of really good information on there. Morning. Well, I made it. It is actually really comfy, but it is cold. Uh, yeah, my feet are cold. My back's cold. Should have brought a blanket. Uh, it's very, very windy last night. So, I think what I'm gonna do. I might get up pack everything away and then go straight home for breakfast try and get warm because I am freezing so let's go let's do that shall we let's do it all right let's do it let's go Right, it's meal packed away. Just gonna get this rubbish. My beer cans from last night. <clears throat> no trace. Yeah, I think I've done pretty well. Thanks guys for being on this little adventure with me. And I'm sure I'll see you on the next one. Adios.